All right, today we are doing a what's in my bag video featuring this bag right here from Minor History. It's the Full Moon Circle bag. I just really like this company. They make a lot of really cool, simple um, totes and crossbody bags and backpacks as well. I think they have actually a um, circle backpack as well that looks really cute. Well, actually, I'm not really a purse person, so usually I just carry around like a jacket and then I load up my pockets with like everything that I need. But then when summer came around, but then when summer rolled around, I realized I'm not gonna be carrying around a jacket, so I need a crossbody bag or something that would stay close to me that's like relatively small, that's not like a huge tote. So this is all the stuff that I usually carry with me when I'm just running errands or if it's like the weekend or if I just don't have to carry around my laptop and my moleskin planner, I'll carry around something like this. I've had this for a couple months now and I really like it. It's like a softer leather, but it keeps its form because um, the seam is actually outside, so it stays pretty um, cir circular, I guess. Anyway, the hardware is gold. The zipper is gold. There's a little pull tab, um, and then gold rivets are here. It's adjustable. Yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so first I have my glasses. These are the Illustiva Murdoch in blonde, or it's matte blonde. And I've had these for quite some time. They have actually gone through like another run of production. So this color is not quite the same. They still have the blonde, but it's not as like honey as this one. This is more like a mustardy, golden honey color. I actually have them in all the colors too. They have a crystal color, a matte black color. It's just the best pair of sunglasses and they're super comfy to wear. This is definitely my favorite color combination that they make and I get the most compliments whenever I wear these. Next I have a card case and this is actually also from Minor History. I got it with the bag um, and this card case is awesome. It's red so it kind of reminds me of like if you guys are Vietnamese or Chinese they have this thing called Lunar New Year or Thet and um, adults give you or like grown-ups give you um, envelopes, red envelopes like these for good luck at the beginning of the new year. So when I got this, I was like, oh my God, this is exactly like uh, the envelopes that they give you. So it's supposed to bring you good luck and wealth. So I did a little bit of research on red card cases or red wallets, and it's actually supposed to bring you money or bring you wealth or make you more financially responsible. So since having this for the past like couple months, I've actually been the most financially responsible that I've ever been. And I don't know if it's due to this card case or like due to me quitting my job and then having to, um, I don't know, like manage my finances. But yeah, I've never been so financially responsible and I'm really proud to say that. And I think it might be in part because of this or maybe it's like Pavlov's dog or whatever. But yeah, I really like this and I think it would make a really good gift too. And it's also a really good story as well. So next I have a film camera. This is the Olympus MJU2. My friend Cecilia is actually like a, a very talented photographer and she's like, this is one of her favorite cameras for like it's a 35 millimeter. Film. So yeah, I think this is perfect. It's nice and small. It fits everywhere. You can actually take the string off and then just kind of slip it in your pocket. It's very pocketable. It's like the size of a... It's even smaller than my phone, actually. I've seen so many positive reviews on this, so I'm really excited to see how my first roll of film turns out. I'm actually on my 13th photo, so I have quite a bit to go. But yeah, I usually like to keep the string on it just because whenever I'm on the go, then I can just put it around my neck. I know it looks lame. Uh, put it around my neck, I could ride a bike and go on a motorcycle and everything and then just take quick photos and apparently the autofocus is like very crisp and sharp so I'm really excited about this camera. Okay so I just got this two days ago, this is the iPhone 7 Plus. Since I'm going to try to be vlogging with this camera, I think I might sell my G7X which is what I normally carry in my bag. I don't need to carry three or four cameras around me with me at all times which I have a knack for doing. I'll leave my email down below so if you're a vlogger then hit me up. I actually have an extra battery for this or actually two extra batteries for this and it has a case. But yeah I've taken some photos with this camera and it looks phenomenal so I'm really excited to just carry this around and just this. The case that's on this phone is from Amazon Basics. It's just a faux leather case and it was only ten dollars or something like that but I just wanted something super simple that's not too big. Just a couple more things. This is a really small bag. So I have my keys like this and my work keys, house keys, and this leather strap right here. I always have a leather strap that's like this on my um, keys because I like to put it on my door before leaving so I never lose my keys or like, I don't know, whenever I just have a strap on it, it just makes it a lot easier to find for whatever reason. But this one my friend Austin made. Very simple and it's like a, actually a natural or like vegetarian leather and then it ages over time. So 
it kind of looks a little bit patinaed. I just think it's so cool. I don't know if he's making any more of these, but he does have a um, an Instagram. So I'll link that down below and you guys can message him about it. But I bought so much stuff from him. I bought like a dog leash and I don't even have a dog. I bought it for Donnie to walk Wednesday with and I don't know if he actually even uses it. What else do I have here? I have Hero Cell from Milk Makeup. I always have like one multi-purpose product in my bag. So like something that I can use as a hand cream, cuticle cream, lip balm, moisturizers. And this is my favorite thing by far recently. This is the Milk Makeup Hero Salve. It smells a little bit like, what does it smell like? It smells like lavender. It's made in the US and I believe everything from Milk Makeup is cruelty free as well if you're interested. But they also have this lip balm that's made from the same base and it's so moisturizing. I usually keep it right next to my bed or in my makeup bag. Um, but this stuff is phenomenal and it comes in a bigger tube and I think the bigger tube has like twice as much product for not as much money so um, this is a better investment in my opinion so I really like this stuff. The packaging itself is plastic but it's actually a very hard glass-like plastic so I really like it. And then I have a lip color and this one's the one that I'm wearing right now it's Nature Republic Real Gel Tint in Orange. I got this pretty recently in Koreatown and it was super cheap and it's just a tint so it's supposed to give you like the ombre like faded in the middle look but it's just like lip ink in my opinion it doesn't last as long it smells like oranges i believe you can only get it in koreatown i'm not sure i couldn't find the link before so i'm sorry about that and then the last thing i have is this little sample right here of the sephora cream matte lipstick all right yeah, cream lip stain. If you know me, I love red matte liquid lipsticks. And then they were giving out a sample of like a bunch of different Sephora brand lipsticks. And this is my favorite thing from Sephora. It's just the perfect color. I love wearing a bright red lip and that's like my favorite color. So I wanted to have a backup for touch-ups. So this is why I carry this in my bag. I haven't used it yet though but it's so little, it's so cute. I love little samples because it makes me feel really good whenever I'm like actually finishing a product through. So uh, I don't feel as wasteful, I guess. Oh wait, and then one more thing, my earbuds, exciting, I know. I have this little like cord thing that's from Bobino. Yeah, mybobino.com. I'll link that down below, but it's really cool because it keeps your cords from tangling. So I usually always have one of these on my um, earbuds. Or yeah, so that's everything in my Minor History Circle bag. If you guys want to know about any of the products or any of the things I showed you today, I'll have them all written down below as well. And then I'll also have my email too if you're interested in buying this. All right, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!